The first thing I'm going to tell you about this breakdown of 1883, Episode 5, The Fangs of Freedom, is the character who met a tragic end is not the character in the video's thumbnail. But I am going to tell you who that character is and talk about the scene at length. In fact, this is the scene. So you may want to hop out of here if you don't like the spoilers. Hit subscribe before you leave though, because that's how you'll get future breakdowns and exclusive 1883 cast video content like this. You're either empathetic or you're not. And I think Shea Brennan is empathetic. You know, it's, it's one of the things that builds it or makes his character so complex for me as an actor. I mean, he's, he's willing to shoot somebody in the head for stealing food, and at the same time, he cries over the immigrants that he loses. Hey, it's Billy Dukes, and this is the first 1883 episode recap after two months worth of Yellowstone breakdowns. I think it's really time to start talking about this show as its own beautiful thing, not just a show produced in the shadow of Yellowstone. Actor Eric Nelson, who plays Ennis, says the show will continue to separate itself from Yellowstone. It's just a taste of what's to come. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it, it's such a dark, raw, gripping, emotional piece. And to, to see it in, in its scale uh, with, with as, as many actors as we have in the animals and livestock and Texas as a whole, being such a, a pivotal character in this piece, um, it, it really is the magic that Taylor brings to this. And, um, you know, it's it's intense and it's hard to watch, but it's not sugarcoated. Taylor wanted to say this and, and tell the story as authentically as possible and what it was actually kind of like back then. And this has proven to be a much more important character than anyone thought possible when stars like Sam Elliott, Tim McGraw, Billy Bob Thornton, and Faith Hill were attached to the show last summer. If you've been watching, let me know if you agree with this next thought in the comment section below. The women of 1883 are dominating. It's Faith and actor Isabel May, who plays Elsa Dutton, that power this show. I mean, just look how episode 4 finished, with daughter on piano and mother in the river desperately trying to avoid a drowning as the immigrants struggle to get across. Of course, Elsa narrates this series, and as such, she's delivered some brilliant commentary like... The land of no consequence is behind us. We are in the land of no mercy now. Don't get me wrong, Tim is really good and Sam is great, but I tune in for what else is up to. So if you're new to this series and you're using videos like this to decide if you should pay the $4.99 a month on Paramount Plus for the show, here's a 20 second series recap. Everyone else can find the usual time code in the description section and skip ahead if you'd like. Elsa, James, Margaret, and little John Dutton are family and the show's central characters. Sam Elliott and LaMonica Garrett are Shay and Thomas, two men in charge of getting this crew out of Texas to Oregon. It's a tough journey, and by the show's count, 19 have died so far, and they've not even crossed into Oklahoma. It's a really heavy show that likes to kill off anything that could bring hope and joy, and yeah, that's foreshadowing. It's also a really good show. I still can't stop watching the piano scene where Elsa plays Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. I really hope Paramount Plus releases that to YouTube at some point, because it's award-worthy. In episode 4, we were excited to see where Ennis and Elsa's sizzling love for one another would go, and oh, oh yowzers! After an unconventional mother and daughter talk about the birds and the bees. I'm gonna talk about sex now. We just did. I guess in the 19th century that always took place in a river with mother bathing daughter. Elsa promptly strolls over to Ennis, and together they, uh, well... Well, listen, I'm not going to go into detail here, but it leads to this conversation. If I have a baby, are you man enough to help raise it? Hell yes, I'm man enough. They agree to marry because they're in love. Yay, love, something to look forward to on the show, except for that thing I said earlier about the show killing all joy. You see, while all this was happening, Wade, who is not Ennis's brother, by the way, fans have written in and he's like oh, I love you and your brother on the show we're actually not related we're not brothers um, but we we have that relationship and um, a lot of it has to do with um, you know how he's treated me and uh, the journey he brought me on before you see us on camera those clips are from our interview with actor Eric Nelson which you can find in the Dutton Rules podcast links in the description anyway Wade finds proof that the bandits that everyone is worried about are coming for him 
First, the group attacks the immigrants that Shay cuts from the group for stealing food. James sees smoke from the fire, and everyone agrees that they need to go on the offensive. Yosef and his wife are left to bait the bandits, and it works. The German leader puts a piece of hot lead in his gut, but there are five more who are now being chased right toward the rest of the group. And okay, this is the sad part. Thumbs up this video if you cried watching. My wife bawled like a teenage girl at a Taylor Swift concert. After racing back to check on Elsa, NS plays a game of gunfire chicken with the last of the bandits and loses. With his last words, he tells James Dutton, I loved her. I was stunned. First of all, actor Eric Nelson told me in that interview that he was set to resume filming as soon as we finished our conversation, and that was like one week ago. So I'm not sure if we see his ghost in the future or what, but also, I just can't believe that they killed him so quickly. We have at least five more episodes of this show to go for this season, and as she's done throughout the series, Elsa found just the right words to summarize it. Today, my eyes died. I see the world through my mother's eyes now. So why did Ennis die? Well, it's because the central character isn't Tim McGraw's character, or Faith Hill's, or Sam Elliott's. It's the land. It's Texas. It's this journey. It's this feeling of trudgery as they all burn through hell to find some land that's just a, a little bit less hellish. In episode two, they killed another character who represented Joy. Aunt Claire was a miserable woman, but you felt that she'd come around to see the point of all this before she killed herself as James Dutton watched, shovel in hand, to bury her. I mentioned 19 dead so far. By the show's count, four of them are children. I sincerely look forward to reading your interpretations in the comment section below because maybe you see it differently than me. And this isn't even all a criticism. I really do love this show. I'm just not used to a show that is that real, you know? Staff at tasteofcountry.com is how you can email me. And please do check out the Dutton Rules podcast for more. It's available at Apple, Spotify, wherever you find podcasts. I'm going to leave you with one little bit of hope. I think it's hope. Here's one of the final questions I asked Eric Nelson about the future of 1883 after the finale. I'm Billy Dukes. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. It, you know, it's it's not a mini series. It's not a one and done. Um, you know, very uh, open open ended. It's you know the, his his idea behind creating 1883 was not to stop here. I can tell you that.